I can't tell you how many discussions I have every week about eKids. Some of my students can only play on eKids. Some of my students hate eKids. Some of my students say that electronic drum sets are the greatest thing since sliced bread and they would never play anything else. So what's the deal? Are they worth it? Are they better than acoustic kit? You might live in an apartment and an e-kit is the only way you can play the drums, in which case this kit is the worst kit you can play on. And this is the better drum set. We actually have two e-kits there behind me, a Roland TD-17 and a Roland TD-27 with the hi-hat upgrade. Sweetwater was kind enough to send those to us. They're sponsoring this video. But what I wanted to do was break out the differences of these two models and why we have these two specific models here. Okay, so this is the practice room we have set up uh, here in the front of the studio. And this is for whenever we do drum camps. Uh, registration's open right now, actually. If you want to check those out, though, they will sell out. So please jump on those if you want to come. We're doing six of them next year. But we do that so that it's one of the number one reasons why my students like their e-kits. And that is because it's quiet. We do that because in here we have 12 drummers when we're doing drums. It's a mess in here right now. I'm trying to clean things up. But we have 12 drummers in here plus me on a kit. It gets really loud in here. We have seven drum kits set up in the building. Two of them are, are E-kits. The reason is because it can it, we can keep the volume down. Okay, so this is the 27 and this is the TD-17. At Sweetwater, if you get the TD-17, I think it's like $17, $1,800 range. The 27 is like $28, $2,900 range. Now the cool thing about a 27 KV, because it's like, well, when you're buying an E-Kit, 1,800 versus 2,900, that's a big price difference, right? So what's the difference? I mean, you can see here, looking at this, this kind of looks like a typical E-Kit pad, right? Um, very flat. Um, whereas whenever you come to the 27, you've got, you've got an upgrade in the rims, in the feel of them. These mesh heads feel better. They don't have this plastic part there uh, that these have. And, uh, and so to me, that's an upgrade. They feel better when you play them. Now, if we come back here, three things on the setup of these that we get that I like. The first one's a digital snare. So this is way, way more sensitive whenever you're playing it to buzz rolls, ghost notes, all of those. Like it, it, it really feels like playing a real snare drum. This is a really, really impressive digital module. The favorite I've ever played. The other is you get a digital ride symbol, and that is a very, very nuanced ride. I mean, it, it feels, I mean, I'm telling you, they feel as close to uh, a real drum set as, as I've come yet. The third thing is the upgrade, and you get this. Used to, they charged you twelve or fifteen hundred dollars to upgrade these hi hats. You can see they're the they're the I don't know hi hat KV. I don't know what the they always name these. I don't know why I just name it something instead of like the KV twenty seven thirty two R you know R two D two type of Star Wars type of deal. But anyway, this hi hat's a game changer. This hi hat feels like a regular hi hat. and you don't have to get it separate as an upgrade now, which is really cool. Now, it's my understanding it comes with, I think it's generation two, comes with this. So for $2,900, you get this 1,200 upgraded pie hat, which is actually about the price difference. Uh, the price difference is like 1,100, I think, between these two. So those are really the snare, hi hat, and ride uh, are my three main likes when it comes to the playability. We can jump over here and you can see the hi hat. Whoa, this, this chair's a low boy. You can see the hi hat's a, a little different. It doesn't have the two symbol feature that the other one has. Uh, ride is a lot smaller. This is not near as sturdy. Uh, this is very, very flat. It's not a real drum on a, on a stand. So, uh, and again, this is not the digital versions. So to me, playability, that one feels better, but if you're like, all I got is this much money, I mean, this is not a bad kit. We keep it set up, I play on this thing. This is, a, this is actually pretty enjoyable to play on.
The other difference you get is the modules with these e-drums. So the 27, some upgrades they've done, especially to the inputs. You can see the inputs right here. Um, you have a couple of options so that for expansion, whereas the 17 doesn't have those options. It doesn't have as many inputs and outputs on here. So with the, with the 27, we could bring in an extra crash symbol like the one over there. You'll see that this has two crashes. We can also augment the kit with an additional tom. So you have a lot of options. It also has two outs, so we could take the kick and the snare directly out if you're playing live and the sound person could mix those separately from the rest of the kit. So it gives them a little bit more control when it comes to that. The TD-17, when it comes to cymbals and the top end sound of the kit, that module doesn't have as much presence as the 27 does. The 27 is kind of like a, that is the TD-50, it's kind of like the light version of that. Um, and you can almost get to that TD-50 sound. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is a little hack if you've got an e-kit, and one of my students actually taught me this. If you've got an e-kit um, and the bass drum's moving, you can actually zip tie this and it doesn't move. TD-27 has over 700 sounds, I believe, inside of it. Both of them allow you to import sounds and they're very easy when it comes to recording, but you can just kind of see the differences. Like when we get down here, you know, what are we paying 1,100 more dollars for? This is a more robust feature. Uh, here we have the digital snare and ride. We have a free floating, uh, free standing uh, snare stand, and then we have this upgraded hi hat option. Now, are they better than acoustic kits? It really just depends. Like acoustic kits, look, they're always gonna. There's here's this kit. You can get this one for about twenty eight hundred dollars, just the shell pack, right? So is it worth paying twenty nine hundred dollars for that? Um, it just depends. I mean, if you live in an apartment, that's the only way you can practice. This is great. If you want to practice when people are asleep, this is a great option. If you want to be able to control your sound at a live gig and mix things, like this isn't, this is a great option. Uh, but is it better than acoustic drums? You know, it's your situation. If the only way you can play the drums in your apartment is if you have an e-kit, then an e-kit is better than an acoustic kit. I wanted to make sure I gave you something in this video as well. So below there's a link, you can go and grab 10 drum beats that work. You'll get full transcriptions and a video lesson. That link is in the video description for you. Put it in the comment section below. For you, which one is better? Is it an e-kit? Is that the situation you're in? Or for you, is an acoustic kit better?